Oh my my. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona and you are watching another exciting episode of On Trail. As you can see, there's my truck. It's still running because we have some stuff to get ready. The gate's locked today, guys. With all the rain and the snow that Sedona's had, they have closed down that portion of the road. Now, it doesn't mean that we're not going to go exploring. This just might be a shorter on trail video. Uh, we're parked in a nice little parking area. It is a designated parking area. And we are going to be exploring uh, the bluffs that are in the immediate surrounding area, guys. There's just no other way to put it. It's the quick plan B. Now, I should have called. Maybe I could have figured out that the road was closed, but heh, what are you going to do? But more importantly, look at the beauty that is behind me and all around, actually, uh, that is Sedona, Arizona, guys. It just doesn't get any better than this. Uh, you guys know I'm smitten with Sedona. I'm in love with Sedona uh, for sure, and that's why I keep coming back here to share this with you guys. So I'm going to get the rest of my layers on because it is cold. It's like 33 degrees, 34 degrees right now. The snow's coming down just a little bit, light dusting. It's sticking to the ground a little bit. Uh, I'm going to throw my scarf on, some gloves, keep the digits co uh, cold, warm. Um, and yeah, we'll get hiking and we'll get going and everything like that. Guys, what do we always say though before we get started? Be kind to yourself and others. Be amazing stewards on that trail. And we have to ask, oh my lord, seriously, what are you waiting for? Get out Arizona. You know what? It's time for that next adventure. Come on, guys. Let's get going. All right, guys. So there's my trusty steed. <laughs> and we're walking. We're walking this way. So I saw something that looked like a little bit of a trail uh, down over here. Now, uh, we're still in the area of um, uh, Schnebly Hill Road and Munn's Wagon Trail. Although we're not really near <laughs> Munn's Wagon Trail. This is just kind of the area we're exploring now is natural erosion. Um, we're going to try not to disturb any of the surrounding plant life. Um, be as good as stewards as we possibly can. Now, one of the things that we're experiencing today, ooh, other than that brutal wind, uh, for sure, and is ice on the ground and on the rocks. Now you can see um, those white, it's actually snow um, that didn't melt when it hit the ground, but it has turned to ice. So it's one thing we definitely want to keep uh, careful of. Do not want to slip and break our ass but we're gonna explore this area a little bit see what we can't find uh, get some videos uh, get some photos too obviously and uh, you know what guys magic movie. Oh, shit as I almost teach it the magic of movies you can see I'm bundled up it's cold I got gloves on so yeah so it's gonna be a lot of fun today guys and sometimes this is what it's about your initial plan, you know, tanks on you. So you go with a plan B, and our plan B is uh, exploring. So let's keep moving. So we are now, now heading down, and I'm going to refer to this as Schnebly Wash or Schnebly Creek or something like that because it's obvious it's what it is, um, and it's created by, you know, natural erosion of the elements. Um, it's really beautiful, and we pan up. You can see, you know, the trees. We got some red rock poking up in the background, which we'll see here better in a minute. Um, you know, it's it's really gorgeous. And now, magic movies, and we transition. <laughs> so, you know, I've said, you know, many times, uh, getting someplace sometimes isn't the hard part. You know, you can get there. You can climb up to the top of that bluff. Um, you can climb down to the bottom, you know, of the ravine. It's getting back. <laughs> that can sometimes pose a problem. Um, so these are some of the things that we always want to um, maintain and be aware and everything. Um, and knowing our limits is part of that. So um, appreciate the beauty guys, but always be careful because um, you want to get home safe and you want to you know, have fun on another day of adventure. So, all right, let's keep going. We'll go down a little bit further down this and uh, we'll see what we can't find. Hopefully uh, we don't break our ass because <laughs> it looks slick. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> With all the with all the water and muddy.
All right, guys, so we're still following that natural erosion uh, in the Schnebly Road, uh, Munswagen Trail Hill area. And I'm not really sure if you could see how far this drop off is. Um, it's uh, 15 feet or so. Uh, maybe not enough to kill you, but definitely enough <laughs> to leave a mark if you weren't careful. Now, there would be a way, uh, again, to get down um, if we were so inclined, but not today. Um, <laughs> definitely uh, for another time. There we go, movie magic. Um, we'll really get in and hike this area. I, I think that's what hiking is really all about, and sometimes, you know, being a through hiker, uh, there's a lot to be said about it. But again, um, you know, now we're starting to get into almost a moral dilemma on good stewardship and and, and what hiking is and, you know, not disturbing nature and et cetera, which, again, episode for another time. But um, for today, uh, we're going to stop here. Now, I did come across what looks to be uh, Munn's Wagon Trail. So we might actually follow that up and see what we can see and um, keep working our way back towards the truck. But remember, there was an area a little bit higher up past the truck uh, that we could definitely easily hike to or pack to, however you want to look at it, as my nose is running. Ah, so we're going to explore that area as well. Uh, don't worry. And uh, yeah, come away with hopefully some good uh, footage and photos. So let's keep moving. All right, guys. So we have actually picked up um, Munn's Wagon Trail. And the reason I'm choosing uh, to go this route now is because the portion that we were following as far as that natural erosion, um, it was getting a little hairy. Um, you know, some steep areas, rocks are icy actually right now. And uh, yeah, not worth the risk in my opinion. Um, different day, absolutely, um, but not today. So uh, we're gonna follow uh, this area for a little bit and check out the uh, the beauty and oh my gosh <laughs> I mean people uh, they don't they don't get it sadly enough some people don't but I, I really wish they did and you know I again I, I love sharing this with you guys um, and it's a big part of of why I get out there I get out here um, not just for how it makes me feel but what I hope to inspire yeah, and others. Seriously, guys. Um, just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, all right. Let's, uh, let's keep moving forward. All right, guys, I mean, as you can see behind me, and I'll pan and rotate slowly here, um, stunning. This is Sedona. Um, I can't get enough of this place. I can't get enough of being outdoors <laughs> and sharing it with you guys. Are you kidding me? Uh, so I'm going to take a minute or two or 15 here, and I'm going to take some photos. Uh, so I can share with everybody on, you know, the grams and Facebook and everything like that. Uh, but seriously, guys, it, uh, and then, you know, see, tilt up there, can see, it really, it doesn't get any better than this. Um, <laughs> you know, you guys got to start coming up here with me. I got to start announcing it. I got to be better and everything, whether we meet, there's a rally point and everything, but I, I really want to share this stuff with you guys firsthand. Um, it's, it's spectacular. It puts me at a loss of words, and that's saying something. So um, I'm going to get set up. I'm going to take some photos. I'll let you guys uh, kind of take in that view one more time as we uh, turn a little bit. 
Don't look at my boogers. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to get set up and get some photos taken, and then, uh, yeah, we'll start working our way back up towards the truck. All right, guys. So we're back on it. The temperature has dropped <laughs> uh, a little bit, and uh, the snow is falling again, although it's a tiny bit. I wouldn't call it snow flurries. And for some of my fans back east, nothing like what you guys get. So I should be thankful. But we're going to make our way around Mun's Wagon again, back to that, uh, that wear mark in the uh, terrain. And we're going to head back up towards the truck. And we're going to explore that bluff that was uh, a few hundred yards past the truck so let's uh let's keep moving and uh, get warmed back up yeah for sure i'll get my hood off so you can see me a little better um yeah so we've made it back up and around um i know my cheeks are red god it's cold right now guys i <laughs> i keep saying it but it is um so we took a little bit different route uh, to get back up to pretty much where we started. Um, I can see that over, under, slash underpass, um, right over there. And that's the nice thing. You'll find a lot of areas in Arizona, especially Sedona, I think, more than any. Um, man, the terrain just gives itself to you, which is nice. Um, but I would say you need to respect that fact. Don't take it for granted, guys. Um, so, yeah, as we get up here, uh, getting ready to start the last, or not the last section, the next section, of the magic of uh, movies here. And, uh, yeah, one last view from where we came. And, uh, and basically now... We'll get back to uh, where we're going. So um, now, according to the map, it says that that is merry-go-round, and it looks like I could climb up to that point. But we're gonna find out here <laughs> really darn quick. So, but yeah, enough jibber jabber. Let's get on that trail. Let's get back going. Okay, guys. So we're on the second part of our on-trail journey, which is actually kind of on-trail and kind of off-trail. <laughs> um, Sure, you guys, again, in the beginning, remember the gate being closed. Now, if you've made it to this point, I want to thank you, and I'm going to ask you to hit that like and subscribe button, because you know it helps out the video, and you know it helps out the channel immensely. So, we are going to climb to a different area now, and do some more exploring, uh, because I'm sure there is a lot to see in this area and that's part of it your day starts out you know with a plan hang on a magic of movies starts out with a plan and it gets sidetracked so what do you do you know you tuck and roll and you go to plan b uh instead of giving up <laughs> you know which isn't in my vocabulary so let's keep moving i'm sure there's going to be a lot of cool stuff in this area and uh yeah let's see what we can't find Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm sure most of you have seen Finding Nemo, and if you haven't, well, you either don't have kids or you just suck. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I'm being serious. Um, so where we're at right now, I think is actually merry-go-round, um, or part of merry-go-round. Now, I haven't looked at the map to verify that, but I'm going to pan. Uh, I just, before I do that, just look at this freaking gorgeous views I have around me, guys. Seriously? Outstanding. Um, but I'm going to pan around here so you guys can see Magic Movies. So over here is the road. It's Schnebly Hill Road. 
and you could see it going up, 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 up. Now, right there, I'm gonna focus in, zoom in a little bit more as much as I can. Right there, that is Munn's Wagon Trail. And remember, the last time we did a trail video and we were doing merry-go-round, that's the trail that we were on to come down to this section. So, you know, I'll look at the map, but I really think that we're on just a different portion of the merry-go-round, which I think is freaking awesome as I zoom back out. And we do the magic movies, maybe? I got gloves on, so it's kind of sticking and it's jostling the camera around. Um, but yeah, um, which would be freaking cool, you know? And just like the reference to Finding Nemo, uh, all drains lead to the ocean. Uh, all trails lead you to where you're supposed to be. So if this ends up being the case, and this is just a different part of Marigold Round that I didn't discover last time, well, amen, because it's been a great day. Uh, it's been a great trek so far. And again, you know, sometimes that plan B just turns out to be the one that you're supposed to do anyway. So, all right, guys, so let's keep going. And again, you know, the views just don't stop, <laughs> you know, absolutely freaking amazing and spectacular. All right, let's keep moving. Guys, I don't know how well you can actually see that, but that is my glove. The wind came and took it away from me when I was up on top of the peak. And there it is, lost forever. Damn it. All right, everybody. So uh, that's it for today. I mean, it was a great day, um, great morning, I should say, great hike. Now, we started off with our plan A getting canceled because of a closed gate um, due to inclement weather. Um, but our plan B turned out to be amazing. And I would say it turned out the way it was supposed to. Um, the trail was beautiful. Uh, we got to explore some uh, different areas of not only Schnebly Hill Road, but Munn's Wagon Trail. And we got to see a different part of the merry-go-round, um, which was cool. And, and had that gate been closed or uh, opened, uh, we never would have discovered it. So again, things work out the way they're supposed to, my friends. And I'm truly excited and happy that I was able to share this with you once again. So a um, couple things. First, of course, we got to pay the bills. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification icon. Uh, this way, you're going to help out the channel. You're going to help out the video. And you'll be kept up to date on all our new videos, whether it's on trail, whether it's toolbox topic, whether it's a garage talk. Um, you'll be able to see them as soon as they uh, upload and go live. Uh, two. Uh, follow us on social media if you can. Those links are down below as well. And that is going to be Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I know, but again, we have to pay the bills. Uh, coffee and park passes and gas are not cheap these days, my friends. Um, and that's about it. Guys, I don't know what else to say except for thank you. Thank you for the support through 2021. Going into 2022, we want to build on that. We have a lot of adventures planned, a lot of great areas we're going to explore, and we can't wait to share all that with you and take you along for the ride. So guys, seriously, thank you so much. I feel blessed to do this on a daily basis for you guys. Take care, be safe, and remember what we say. Be kind to yourself and others. Always be amazing stewards out on that trail. And we have to ask, as I show you this view one last time, what are you waiting for? Get out Arizona. We'll see you on that next adventure. Take care, guys.